Well, good morning and welcome to a beautiful morning here in Cambridgeshire. Now, I'm just sitting out in the garden, enjoying a coffee with the dogs. And I happen to look up at my solar panels and notice that they've got a film of dirt over them. So first things first, before we figure out how we're going to clean them, is let's put the drone up, take a quick look at the panels, see how dirty they are, and then come up with a plan. Okay, so we'll get the drone up in the air before Yogi gets a chance to get hold of it. He seems very fascinated by the flying thing. I'm not sure what he would do with it if he actually caught hold of it. But we'll get a bit of altitude and we'll take a look at the roof. So as you can see, my garage roof, there is definitely some indication that the birds have been pooping on the solar panels. So we'll have to see if we can get rid of some of that. And then if we take a look at the rear facing roof, not so bad from a bird poop point of view, but there is definitely a film of dust sitting all over the panels. And then if we jump around to the front of the house again, not too bad from a bird poop point of view, but definitely some dust that we want to get rid of. Now they're looking pretty filthy. So I'm going to use my pressure washer to try and get some water up there to simulate rainfall and see if I can just wash that layer of dirt off. Now I should say at this point, never use a pressure washer directly on your solar panels. There are waterproof seals around the edges. You don't want to be forcing any water into those, obviously, especially when they're live electrical systems. So what I'm going to do is use uh, an extension pole off of my pressure washer just to simulate some rainfall, try and get some water up there and see if I can wash that surface clean. So how are we going to do this? Well, this contraption is something that I've had for about a decade now. Um, it's a Karcher pressure washer long reach extension. It's designed for doing uh, drains and soffits and things up at roof level. Now it does have a pressure wash all the way to the tip so we can put out high pressure water but what we're actually going to do is put out, we're going to stand back a little bit, put a bit lower pressure water and try and simulate rainfall onto the panels. Now for these lower down panels we're not actually going to use the pressure washer, I'm just going to use the hose pipe and just see if I can dislodge some of that dirt. I can immediately see a difference. We've got rid of some of the bird poop, but all the dust has just been washed straight off. So again, I'm trying not to stay in one space too long. Just let the water do its thing, get rid of the dirt. And immediately that's looking so much better. We've still got a little bit of bird poop residue up there, but hopefully that'll come off. So I think that'll do for those panels. Now let's hit the main back roof. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit noisy, so I'm gonna get on and clean them off and I'll be back with you in a moment. Oh, that's massive. You can see that this part of the panel now is clean. There's a little bit of dirt up in the top left there, and then I'm gonna to have to go around the other side to reach the top right. So we've still got a little bit right up on the peak of the roof, which I'm not gonna be able to get to from this side. 
and the front of the house I'm going to wait till this evening to do because of the prevailing wind. There is a slight breeze that's blowing the water back this way. So hopefully this evening when I do the front, it will also catch the back of the panels. So did it make any difference? Well, they look a little bit cleaner. So um, I'm happy with the result. Um, it may have made 1% difference to the generation, but by keeping the dirt off of them, hopefully if we get more days like this, they won't build up to a point where it's actually starting to affect the generation of the panels. Just remains for me to say thank you for clicking on this video. If I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another one. Take care, bye-bye.